Musakeng is a township located west of Johannesburg. It's famously known for producing sporting icons such as soccer players Patrick Asin Zoleng, Donald Kuse, Banks Eklodi, Opa Manyesa and boxer Tera Matebula. Tembi Khatlana is another talent and earth here in the township. She is the most recent South African player to sign for Houston Dash. Khatlana follows in the footsteps of Banyana Banyana captain Janine Van Vake and compatriot Linda Motalo. The 23-year-old's rise to the top happened remarkably quickly. She was first introduced to the national senior team under coach Vera Pau in 2014. That is why she attributes her achievements to the Dutch coach. Pau is the football manager at Houston Dash and she has now secured Hatlana services for the American side. I've worked with uh, Vera Pau in, in Banyana Banyana. She's a good coach. Um, she improved my game a lot from you know playing 10 minutes to now being able to cope uh, playing uh, uh, 90 the whole 90 minutes and um, also being part of a, a team player I, I think she had an impact on, on, on my performance as well Khatlana has been one of the key players for the national team since 2016 she has improved year on year and 2017 stood out for her 2017 was a good year for me, going to the World Student Games in Taipei, uh, helping the team uh, finish fourth, which is um, a record that was done also previous years uh, with the other team. And uh, going into Kosafa, even though Banyana didn't play a lot, we managed to scoop the tournament. I managed to you know, uh, make five assists for the team and also scoop four goals for myself. And at the end, I got uh, player of the, of, of, of the tournament for Kosafa. 30 kilometers away from Khatana's hometown of Mosakeng Hills, another shining star from the Badirile Township, also on the West End. Linda Motalo signed their contract with Houston Dash last month. She will join her new team together with Khatana in March. Most importantly, uh, Lithood. Yeah, so it's much there are similarities between these two players. Both have been part of junior national teams before graduating to Banyana Banyana. Mutalo recently guided the national under-20 team Vasitana to the final stages of their World Cup qualifier. I think the journey of me being the captain of under-20, going to the Olympics and yeah, I think it's one of the things that Enkins and Jorge go used in dish, I would say. Although it's every young footballer's dream to play overseas, it was a difficult decision to make for both these players. I told my parents about it and they were so excited but never worried more about school or what's going to happen, uh, is it a great move or not. So and we came to the end, I'm going to Houston Dash. I told them that a deal like this doesn't often happen and uh, it's only now three South Africans playing in a professional league. Uh, a I mean, there's a lot of players in South Africa, you know, hoping to play in a professional league. So if I, I let go of, of this deal, I, I might never get it again. They were offered a life-changing opportunity. They accepted a proud moment for the country, but more especially for those close to them. She must continue with a good performance and follow the coach's instructions. Here she is. Uh, she got us a contract, so uh, Master Rame will be playing abroad. So uh, we will be praying uh, for Mudimuane Lilinda so that uh, Abe successfully a delivery on what she wants to become Go Houston Dash. Despite the lack of a professional league in South Africa, these players managed to become professionals elsewhere. They have now become an inspiration to other women footballers in the country and they have an opportunity to showcase the country's talent and perhaps open doors for others with the same dreams. Lebhantube, SABC News on the West End.